Greetings and salutations, and thanks for clicking on the video. Yes, it really is. No joke, 4.47 in the morning. <laughs> for those of you who are watching in HD and happen to notice that, and I'm up making videos, but I figured I would make one for you that will show you how to very quickly install a firewall on your Linux system should you choose to have a firewall running on your Linux computer. Before we get into the actual installation process, which is ridiculously simple, we will talk about whether you actually need a firewall running on your system. I've got this uh, lovely diagram that I found on the internet to make this a little bit easier to explain. And as you can see, we have the internet here in the upper right corner represented by the cloud. By the way, there is no cloud. It's just somebody else's computer. Keep that in mind. And this is the typical setup for a home computer network these days. You have some sort of a modem that connects you to your internet service provider and then you have a broadband router usually with Wi-Fi enabled and this most of the time these days is actually all done in one box well in that box uh, there is a firewall it's a hardware firewall it's running which makes it difficult for anybody who is trying to get into your network from the outside to see any individual machine on the network as a matter of fact it's almost impossible and so if you have a system like this, chances are you will not need to run any sort of a firewall on your Linux boxes. Of course, the exceptions to the rule would be if you did not have a switched system with a router and for some reason or another you had like one computer that was hooked directly to a cable modem with no nothing in between it. At the, at, you do not have a firewall running at that point. That computer is hanging out on the internet. Also, if you have a laptop that you take and hook up to public Wi-Fi networks, like you use them at restaurants or hotels, or maybe even if you carry it to work and hook up to the Wi-Fi network there, you might not be all that sure of the security of the local network. And in that case, you definitely want to have a firewall running. You don't know who else is on that network and who has access to it and who might be trying to sniff your data and look for your computer. So a good idea to have a firewall running on a portable machine that you hook up to a lot of different networks. So we're going to take a look at how to do that today. And it's <laughs> extremely simple. It's, it's not even funny. The uh, software that we're going to use is called GUFW. And it is available in the repositories of pretty much every Linux distribution and the name of the package is GUFW so I'm going to show you how to get that configured I'm not going to show you how to install it because I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this video you probably already know how to do that and so let's just go look for the software here I already have it installed package name is GUFW. You can look at it, look for it in the software center in Ubuntu, the software manager in Mint or wherever you get software and install it. Once you get it installed, open it up and it does take a couple of seconds to load and here it is running on my Ubuntu virtual machine and to get it going all we have to do is turn it on and it already has some basic profiles loaded and the firewall is up and running at this point so your machine is protected now the basic home system is the setup here is just to deny anything that's trying to get into the system or uh, and allow anything that goes out which means that if you open up a browser and you make a request then it will let it in but if not then it ain't gonna do it um, Ubuntu doesn't have a whole lot of ports open anyway and anything based on Ubuntu doesn't have a lot listening but you may have some applications that are listening uh, to the network and you might want to make some rules here to allow um, other things to listen like if you have a Samba server up and running then what you'll want to do is just come to the list of applications here and scroll through you can also find SSH in here with the standard setup and it can get very customized. So let me 
do that again it was not liking me scrolling so fast for one reason or the other we're gonna go ahead and add one I want to add Samba and you have quite a bit to scroll through to get to Samba in here and we have two entries try the first one here and if that don't work try the second one so we're gonna go ahead and add that and now the system should allow Samba yep it's in my rules all set up and ready to go so just to make sure we can open up here and browse the network and make sure we can get to the network yep Samba is running so if you use Samba that's one you'll want to enable and of course if you have any applications that you yourself actually need to uh, you know run no big deal at all just set it up and set up the exception and you can also look at, on the internet for information about the applications themselves and how to make sure they work with the firewall so that is basically it thanks for watching I do appreciate it if you'd like me to help you get started with Linux check out easylinux.com it's in the description below talk to you again soon